It is 12.30 in Motown, and hello there to you from me. I'm Don Schuster on a Saturday morning with all those Motor City memories. Here's Jerry Butler with a Hal David Burt Bacharach sound. Detroit is a very iconic city in America. We build things, we make things, and we take a lot of pride in that. You're gonna see a lot of factories. You're gonna see smokestacks from the refineries, from the steel mills. When I see those, I know that's what's put us to work. That's what's kept food on the table. We're blue collar workers. Detroit, being an industrial environment, produces and manufactures a lot of products. We have to be able to do that automatically. So that's where instrumentation comes in. All of the equipment that we use that's going to control a process, food being made, medicines being made, oil being refined, Marathon Refinery, we process raw crude oil into diesel, gasoline, and multiple other products that we utilize for the general consumer. Instrumentation plays a big role in the automation of processing crude oil. Anything from controlling the flow, temperature, pressure. So to become an instrument tech here in Detroit, it's a two-part process. Part A, theory-based exam. Part B is a strictly hands-on exam, learning how to bench calibrate devices and then you'll be tested on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I took the instrumentation class at the training center and when I first stepped onto the job site, I saw a lot of different instruments that I didn't see in the classroom and I really didn't have any idea how they worked. And I thought, oh boy, I'm not quite as prepared as I thought I was. When I became an instructor at the training center and I learned that I was going to be teaching instrumentation, I quickly realized that we needed an instrumentation lab. When we really realized how important it would be for the school to invest back into the contractors, back into the members, back into the customers, and indefinitely into the industry, to be able to have that hands-on and replicate a real vessel and then to couple it with the curriculum that you would see in the classroom setting, it's invaluable for not only future work that we hope to achieve, maintaining current work. This lab, it mirrors a lot of what we deal with and what we work with out here at the refinery. Uh, I think people who are using that lab and being trained on that lab are gonna be much better to go out in the field and, and be confident in the work that they're doing. Building an instrumentation lab, it's really a, a joint effort. Our NECO contractors were generous enough to donate all of the electrical materials that we use to build the lab. Our contractors are phenomenal. They know the industry, they donate a lot of parts because they want their people trained. That's just part of the good relationship we have with NECA. We want people around the country to see what we have and know that they can replicate the same thing and if we share, we, we grow as a group together. With the IBW, this lab was built by GIWs, it was instructors, all the way down to our apprentices. This is a place where our members learn in a safe environment. They can make mistakes and they can learn from those mistakes because usually when they pick up a call and go out in the field, it's go time. Every job site and every manufacturing facility does it their own way. Being able to connect with how the manufacturers actually do things in their process, the training is just monumental. The instrumentation lab that they've provided is a huge asset to the Marathon Refinery. There's a lot of refineries in the South. Up here in Michigan, we're the only one. It's hard to find educated individuals that know our industry like the NJTC, IBEW members do. It's just another tool to make you more valuable to your contractor and yourself. This lab is a showpiece for our contractors. When a customer comes in, 
we convey that our training is based off of all of the different devices and instruments in that lab. And that helps us secure work from the customer also. That we're able to train our members so that processes are run efficiently, they're run safely. When I walk into the multi-purpose room and I see the instrumentation lab, I'm very, very proud of it. You're watching Electric TV. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.